Hi, I'm Kate Richardson. This is my first video and today I'm going to be doing a Lush haul of some of the products that I have purchased. Okay, so the first product I'm going to talk about is Big. Uh, this is a shampoo. Uh, it's a volumizing shampoo. It smells like the ocean. It's probably my favourite scent from Lush, uh, which is a bold statement I know, but it's got lumps of sea salt in it, which makes it really good for volumizing and giving your hair a lift. It actually says on the pot, it says, sea salt shampoo to give your hair a lift and volume, make it easy to come, comb through and smells great for hours. Uh, this is true. Uh, when I first used this product, I got a uh, tester from Lush and I got everyone in my uni accommodation to smell my hair because I thought it smelled very nice and it did. Uh, the next product you can also use in your hair but it's actually a shower gel. It's It's Raining Men and this is a great shower gel. I've only got a small bottle at the moment because I was trial running it but if you are a fan of Honey I Wash the Kids, the soap, then you'll be a fan of this. Uh, it smells like honey, like Honey I Wash the Kids and it is, it's shower gel which you can use in your hair when you use it on your hair, it is quite a cleansing uh, shampoo, so I wouldn't recommend using it every single day. Uh, maybe once, twice a week, like the big. And But the shower, for using it as shower gel, you can use it every day. Uh, the smell of this product will linger in your hair and on your body for quite a long time, I'd say, throughout the day. Uh, so that's very nice. It's a great product. Definitely, definitely, I would definitely recommend this product. I like that you can use it both as a shampoo and a shower gel which makes it great for travelling or if you're out and about uh, because it means you only have to take one product with you and you'll be smelling lovely and like a bee. <laughs> so the next products I've got are face and body products. I have Ocean Salt which is a face and body scrub. Like Big it is full of salt so it has quite an ocean salty smell to it. I really like this body scrub because it's very, it's exfoliating but it isn't harsh. I feel like with some products that are exfoliating, they kind of hurt your skin while you're putting it on and you don't, and it kind of draws out the moisture without rehydrating your face as well. Uh, with Ocean Soap, it actually hydrates and moisturizes while it's exfoliating. So I think it's really good on those dry, hard patches of skin. I get it on my upper arm, so I find it very good to use my arms and my face. Uh, I've used all of it because I really liked it. Um, I just think it's a really nice to use on your face. I use this every day when I had it. I need to get more. Definitely recommend this. Uh, it's probably one of my favourite products from Lush. And it's great value for money because this small pot I think was £6 something. And I found that it was la lasted me a long time. Even when I was using it on my face and my body which I was using quite a lot, it still lasted longer than I expected it to. So I would definitely recommend Ocean Salt. Uh, my next product that I'm going to show you is a facial moisturiser. It's, in, I can't pronounce it, so Laura's going to have to tell me how to pronounce it. Imperialis? Imperialis. It is a facial moisturiser. I am not too sure if I like this product or not yet. I have been using it every day since I got it, so I have been using it for probably a month. Not even a month, probably three weeks. Uh, I've been using it every morning and night. It looks like this, it's like a thick cream. Uh, I have combination skin type and I do find that it will hydrate the dry patches of my skin. But because I also get oily patches, I've found that this kind of sometimes will heighten the oil in my face, so I will only use a little bit. Um, I do recommend it as a, like your starter moisturiser from Lush, because I this is my first one. I found that it's a good introduction to their facial moisturisers. They are quite expensive at Lush, but even though they're small pots, they do last a long time. Um, again, I have been using this for three weeks every morning and night, and I still have more than half the pot left. So, yeah, I would I would half recommend this product. Uh, it's got its faults, but I would try it out for your skin type. It might just be mine. But... It is very hydrating and makes your skin feel very hydrated and soft, which is what you want out of a moisturiser, so yeah. Uh, the next product is a skin conditioner. It's Rose Argan. I actually got this uh, in one of the Lush gift boxes. 
uh, for my birthday from my lovely friend Laura, who's actually sitting behind the camera right now. Um, she got me the rose, the rosy gift, uh, the gift box, and this was one of the things that came in it. And I was quite glad that it came with the gift box because I don't think I would have necessarily purchased this. So it was quite nice to get the gift box with the bits in it and trying things that you probably maybe wouldn't necessarily buy. Uh, it's a skin conditioner. I realised when I first got this product I was using it wrong. Um, it's actually in like, you're meant to use it in the shower as a shower conditioner. I was just putting it on my body before I went to bed. And it's one of these products that I still haven't made my mind up about. It was nice and I enjoyed using it in the shower, but I also felt that it left a residue on my skin, uh, which kind of made my skin feel very, very clean to the point where it was almost squeaky, if that makes sense. It's nice, but I wouldn't, I would only use it before I went to bed. I wouldn't use it in the morning before I was getting changed and putting clothes on because it was, it had that residue that I didn't like. I'll, I'll finish the pot, like the, the pot, but I might not repurchase this product, but it was very nice to try it out because it is something that I probably wouldn't have bought on my own. But this is what it looks like. It looks very similar to the the face moisturiser, but there's not much left. But yeah, so if you like skin conditioners, maybe this is for you. For toners, I haven't really used toners on my face a lot before, uh, and it was something that I've always wanted to try, and since I've been getting into beauty a lot recently, I felt like toners are something that I need to explore more. Um, I was very intrigued by the Lush toners, and I actually purchased a few weeks ago the tea tree water, and I love this product. I love it. It's my holy grail. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I use this every morning and night. What I do is I will spritz it on my face and it comes out like a mist. Uh, I spritz it on and then I'll get my, what's it called? My cotton, I get my cotton pads and I'll just like wash off all the dirt on my face. I actually use it after I've used my, I've removed my makeup with makeup wipes and then I'll do this. And the thing that I found was really interesting with this product was how much you don't realize doesn't come off when you use just face wipes. Um, because I'll, I'll get off all my face with all my face wipes, get off all my makeup and think, oh, it's all, it's all gone. Then I'll use this with my cotton pads and there's still a lot of makeup on my face. So I think this is really lovely and it's, it's not very harsh and it smells nice and it's very refreshing when you spritz it on your face. And again, value for money is fantastic. It's only a small bottle, but I think this was seven pounds and it's lasted me a long time and there's still probably more than, yeah, more than half of the bottle left. Another interesting thing, if you have the, um, the tea tree tab tabs that you can put in the water to steam your face, if you actually save the water from the basin or the bowl that you use and to put into an empty bottle of this, you can use it exactly the same. So that's a cheaper way if you want a toner or a similar product to this. For those of you who haven't seen the tea tree tabs from Lush, this is what they look like. I think they're probably the best value for money from Lush because they're only a pound. And what you do with them is you just have a sink or a bowl full of boiling water and you just drop it in and it will disperse and then you just lean over the bowl or the sink and let the steam go into your face. So this is what I was talking about when I was saying about keeping that water in a spritz bottle and using it as the same as the tea tree water. Uh, on to more beauty aspects of Lush, uh, I've got the bubblegum lip scrub. Uh, I bought this because I have very chapped lips and normally I would use just lip balm and I was curious about this because it's like an exfoliator for your lips. This is what it looks like. Ooh. Oops. Uh, <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's a very lovely pink and it's got little bits in it, like a like an exfoliator. But I haven't made my mind up about this quite yet. Um, I can't decide if I love it or hate it. Uh, you can put it on your lips to exfoliate, so you rub it in and then you can lick it off. It does taste like bubble gum, but I can't decide if it's disgusting bubble gum or not. I haven't used this as much as I would have liked to. They do do two other flavours which I think are mint and a kind of toffee one. I could be wrong on the toffee one, but I know they do a mint one. 
wish I'd picked that up instead of this because I think it's quite a sickly taste. Uh, again, it's it's got quite a lot. You need a little, like, need a little bit to put on your lips. Um, so it will last a long time, but I'm worried I'm not going to use it up until it's like before it's gone off. Uh, it's something that I'll stick at and try and love it, but at the moment it's one of those things that I can't quite decide if it's something that I would carry on using. But I like the idea of a lip scrub, but I think I'm just going to stick to my, my Body Shop lip balm. So that smells nice and hydrates my lips nicely so it's not so chapped. So yeah, that's that. The final product I'm going to talk about is the Fizz Banger bath bomb, which looks like this. It's one of the big ones. I... Oh, it smells so good. I really like this uh, bath bomb. I have a love-hate relationship with the bath bombs at Lush because I feel like some of them I get really, really excited about and then they're really disappointing when you put them in the bath. Uh, this one I really like because it's yellow and smells... It's, it smells zesty but not overpoweringly citrusy which is nice because I'm not a big fan of citrus smells but what's exciting about this one is actually it's blue on the inside um, so it's, you're like oh it's going to be yellow and it's actually blue I think it's blue and green if I remember you can see a bit of the blue in the middle there I haven't used this one in quite a while but from my memory I think it's quite a low like a like a slow fizzing one so you're not putting it in and then two minutes later it's gone it will, it will slowly fizz and yeah it smells absolutely incredible I wouldn't say it's one of my favourites I'd say my favourite bath bombs are it's, I probably Granny Takes a Dip or Twilight are probably my two favourites but this one this one's good I think for for one, of, for, for those of you that kind of want an exciting, sorry, my phone's going off. <laughs> um, for those of you that want an exciting um, bath and a and a bath bomb that's colourful and slow fizzing, then this is probably the best one for you. Fizz Banger is good for that, and it's three pound twenty five, so it's good value for money. Uh, if you want to save your bath bombs and don't want to use them all up at the same time. I'd recommend cutting them in half uh, so you can get more or in quarters so you get more than one use out of them. I'm like I kind of like putting them all in at once <laughs> but that's just me uh, so that's that's a, that's a trick that you can use if you are cautious about saving money and feel like you want to get more from your product than just the one one use. Thanks for watching this video. It's probably really, really bad and I'm really sorry. I've struggled a lot with it today. I've had my friend Laura helping me, but it's my first one, so let me off easy. Um, if you want to see more videos from me, then comment below or subscribe. You probably won't, but it would be nice if you did. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.